All right, 2022 YC250F oil change. I'm running Yamalube 10W40 four stroke engine oil. Oil pan, you're gonna need a eight mil for the oil filter cover. Oil filter, I run the K&N 140. The oil drain plug is uh, right there. You can see it where my finger is. So it's next to that frame rail. That one's a 12, so that's ready to go. And then the oil strainer, which is on the other side of the bike, is a 10. You're gonna need a funnel to get the oil in, or even better, I use this funnel because it also has a measuring cup built into it. Before we do this, we're gonna warm up the bike, take it for a hot lap around the neighborhood and uh, drain out oil. Always a always a good idea to have a rag nearby. Alright, taking off the oil filter now. Just a little bit. You wanna undo these bolts uh, evenly. I like to clean uh, everything while I'm doing this. Make sure we get all that oil out there. Gotta move it around. Not super important, but you might as well go the extra mile, you know? All right, so for this K&N oil filter, there's only one way it goes in. You can see there's a shaft there and there's a hole there, and that's really the only way it can go. So you gotta get that in there. It's hard to do this with one hand. One thing you wanna check is you wanna make sure your O-ring is good right here, because this is what's gonna make that seal. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean it. it looks a little dirty, and we'll go from there. So make sure the cap is uh, seated evenly right there. And then you want to start your bolts right here and you're going to want to tighten them evenly and not too tight. So on the manual, the oil filter cover bolt is only 7.4 foot pounds. So not very tight at all. Just kind of compressed them there. One turn, one turn, one turn, one turn, one turn. So now we're on the clutch side of the bike. You can see there, there's an oil strainer and it's just a bolt that holds that plug in there. And now uh, we're gonna take it out and inspect it and clean it. And for that bolt, you're gonna need a 10. And then here's the oil strainer. Um, of course the cable's in the way. So that's our oil strainer. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna wipe it down, maybe blow some compressed air on it, and we'll go from there. All right, it's back in. 7.4 foot pounds of torque. Uh, don't wanna go too tight. That's a very common mistake. Uh, people over torque things sometimes, and then uh, it just gets looser and looser over time. Before you put your drain plug back on, uh, make sure the washer is on there, uh, and make sure it didn't get stuck and stayed up there. Uh, Cause that could kind of um, ruin this whole thing. Um, cool, let's put that back in there. And again, don't put it on too tight. Only 15 foot pounds, it's all you need. So just kind of get it on there with my hand first. Hand tighten, <laughs> that might even be good enough. Uh, and then you kind of give it one little whack. That should be good. And then 
wipe down any leaks you see or anything. That way, when you go check it back on there, you don't get confused and think there's like a leak because the oil from your oil changed leaked and not, not new oil. All right, so 0 0.75 liters is what we need to put in there. So basically bet between the 700 and the 800 milliliters one there, okay? If you don't have a measuring cup, you can actually use your, your Yama Loop container. It's got liters. So just remember, three quarters of the way from one liter to the next one is about 0 0.75. All right, today we're gonna use Monster as an oil. Best Monster flavor out there. If anyone knows anyone at Monster, uh, send these to my house. I'll do your oil changes. Shit, I'll build you a house. Just free Monster, please. All right, have you guys ever seen a, a bike chug a beer? There we go. Come on. Yeah, let's get in there. Let's unleash the beast. All right, while you're drinking, I'm drinking too, so. When I was very young, I did this and I forgot to put the, the drain plug back in. So I just saw like, I just recirculated the oil. It's hilarious happens all right okay let's put that away clean our mess there all right let's put our tools away and uh let's do another hot lap and then check the oil level check for any leaks too all right, so we took it for a little lap around the neighborhood. And uh, right here by your brake lever, you're gonna have a, a screen that will show you the oil level. And uh, as you can see, that's the new oil in there. And you can see that ideally you wanna be perfectly in between these two lines right here, okay? You never wanna go over this line and you never wanna be under this line. So you can see that uh, I need to just put a tiny bit more oil in there and uh and yeah we should be good to go see it's in the manual between b and a uh it's better to go a little under than a little over uh because to take oil out you have to take the plug out but to put oil in you just fill it a little bit you know? i'm gonna go ahead and reset the the oil on the yamaha app so that i can keep track of the hours i change it every five to seven hours depending on what tracks I go to and all that. But yeah, if you're racing and you're pretty hard on the bike, then yeah, change it. Some people change it every race or every session, uh, every four hours, it's up to you. All right guys, thanks for watching. Time to go rip it up at LACR.